Good evening, welcome to Unity with Haven. My name is Joseph, and tonight with me um, are a really big team is Elisma and Amy and Charmaine and Ian and Kimi. And so uh, we're ready to minister to you. Uh, so please write your name in the comments if you'd like to receive ministry. And uh, we follow prophetic protocol from 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3 where it says when you prophesy, the word must edify, exhort and comfort. Alright, so we got a lot of people we're going to minister to. So I don't want to waste time. I'm going to jump in immediately and I want to minister to Rachel. Okay, so Rachel, uh, the Lord shows me a drift with water going through. And I see how you have a wagon with oxen that pull this wagon through the drift. And I felt that oxen... Uh, is people in your life, mentors, and even uh, especially one or two, even three of them are business people that are going to help you in your life so that you can get through this and you can move up to the new place where God is. And the Lord is moving you from the old place to the new place. And so to move and to change, you have to change your mindset and you need mentors in your life. And the Lord is providing everything that you need. You must just be willing to say, yes, Lord, I'll go where you want me to go. God bless you, Rachel. I mean, next one is for Mary Jane. Mary Jane, I see you moving into this green fields and, and you're looking at all these fields and you're feeling so much um, like, like you, you are proud of these, uh, this and you, are, you have so much joy. And God says he, He's going to restore your joy. He's going to restore, He's going to give you in abundance. He's going to restore. Um, I also feel that He's going to supply to you. There's going to be abundance of supply to you because you came out of a season where it's almost like the, it was a crushing season and it was a, a really tight season with finances, with everything um, that, that was holding on, you know, it was crushing you, it was binding you, it was just holding you but God says you need to just look forward and he's going to give you all of these green pastures to lie in, and he's going to give you rest be blessed our next word is for Elis my daughter Elis but what I heard I heard God is saying my daughter make get yourself ready for new wine I see like an outpouring of new wine coming your way but in order to receive new wine you need to have like new wine skins new wine bags so I just feel like our God is saying get rid of the old um, per, uh, get yourself some new wine, uh, new wine skins. Then I also saw like how God shows me how like I saw like how it's like a lightning storm on top of you, and I just felt like how God is saying that you will be filled up with my power, my might, that you will be like a thunderous mighty storm when you speak, when you when the word of God comes from your, from your mouth. I just see like how God shows me like how when you open your mouth, how like a lion starts to roar from your mouth. And I just feel like how God shows me now how he anoints you with his power. Be blessed. Thank you, Elisma, for being here tonight. Please remember, write to say comment. The next word is for Deo. Deo, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you sitting down, receiving ideas, writing it on a paper, but then you fold in your paper a jet and you just throw it and it flies away. And the Lord says the good ideas you need to keep. You need to uh, write them down, keep them in a book. Even if it doesn't come to pass in a year or two, just keep it there, read through it from time to time, and then you will see some of those plans will start to get substance. It will start to be built up and it will start to form pillars. And I see how some of those plans are actually going to be very important in your life and also breakthrough in your life that's going to come. But it's just going to start from uh, receiving the word from the Lord, writing it down and keeping it, not just letting it go. Be blessed. Aaron Dale, please give us a comment. Thanks for this for Celeste. The Lord shows me DNA and how He is changing your DNA and how He's just purifying you and how you just start to spin and you just get renewed. And the Lord shows me that anything that has happened in the past, that things that have happened in generation after generation, the Lord saying that in his, in his name and by His power, He is cutting that off, that that won't continue into into the next generation. I just hear complete rebirth and renewal, like like a fresh start starting with you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Tasha Nay. Uh, so Tasha Nay, the Lord just shows me how He takes out a heart of stone, He puts in a heart of flesh, how He writes His commands on your heart, and how He gives you a clear vision and a clear uh, desire is in your heart for the plan that he has for your life and then I saw that three layers uh, of God coming around you uh, of the righteousness and the peace and the joy of the Holy Spirit that the Lord places in your life and so the Lord says you do not have to fear I'm covering you I'm protecting you and I'm giving you clear direction God bless you Tasha Nay. 
I mean, Exodus 19, 19, I see that there is a, um, I see umbilical cord, and I see that there's an unhealthy soul tie um, attached to you. And, and I see uh, what God says to you, it's time to take the rubbish out. And I see how you're walking outside, you're putting the rubbish out, and the truck comes to fetch it, because it needs to go. And you need to cut the soul tie with this person, because it's holding you back, and it's, 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 it's almost like putting labels on you, and you are not, you're not able to be yourself, and God created you to be you, you uniquely yourself so that you are not uh, uh, you know um a, a copy of someone else so just go to the Lord and go find out what soul tie you need to break remember soul ties are not just with with um, um, you know husbands and boyfriends and things like that soul ties can be with a friend soul ties can be someone at work soul ties can be with with anyone that you've had a close relationship with but it, it, it's an, this is an unhealthy soul tie so it's time to break and it's time to move forward get rid of that rubbish so that God can fill you up with new things good things and his life for your life be blessed Amen. This next word is for Benjamin. Benjamin, the Lord loves you very much. And I just really feel how God is calling you it's for prayer and for and, and he's really calling you just to prophesy and to speak life over your life. And I just feel it's just such a deeper um, place of prayer God is taking you in. And Benjamin, I just feel the Lord has called you to be a team player and how for a long time you've been doing stuff by yourself, but God is placing you in a group, a, fr a friendship, a team where you're going to work together. And I just feel the Lord is really going to raise you up and train you in a new way. And a lot of things that you were doing by yourself, God is just bringing amazing people into your life so that you can focus on your gifts that he has given you. And and I just feel, Benjamin, God has called you for family. God has called you um, for business. And I just feel how God is really, yeah, He's blessing those areas of your life. And He's giving you wisdom. Benjamin, God loves you so much. I really want to encourage you. Keep on praying. Because there's amazing things that God is doing in your life. God bless you. God loves you. Our next word is for Barnabas. Barnabas, I just heard how God is saying that He wants to prepare you for a new, mm -hmm. new, new future, a new blueprint, new destiny. I just see like how God shows me that He wants you to like have secluded prayer time, where God can just like show you like in the in the spiritual realm the vision that is got for your future i just see like how god shows me that in this spiritual time in this special time where you have time with god how god will give you like the, the instructions the route the map of the uh, what he wants you to do i just see like how god shows me that lots of new things is coming this season um i just see like how god shows me that you need to prepare yourself for a right um a wild, not a, like a wild ride, but an exciting ride coming um, to your uh, to your to to you. And I just see like how God shows me that as well. How He's gonna give you new ideas, strategies, uh, just like new access to spiritual realm um, things that you're gonna see. Be blessed. Thank you, Barnabas, for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Gareth. Gareth, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you on a rowboat, but you're rowing in the sand. And it seems like it's very, very hard work. And it seems that it's, it's not a wise thing to do. But what I see is you are loosening the sand and you're actually creating a channel. Now, when the water comes, the people behind you can easily use the channel that you dug out with hard work. And I just see how you're putting in a lot of hard work, hard effort. And it's not for nothing. It is for your family that comes after you that also can partake in the hard work and the labor that you have done. So don't quit, don't give up, even though it seems like it's not making sense. And even people will tell you what you're doing is not making sense. But listen to the Spirit of the Lord. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for uh, Lydia. The Lord shows me how, how the Lord shows me iron sharpens iron, and sometimes it is it, it it it's hard to get sharpened. And the Lord just says, honor those who are who you need who you need to be honoring. Show honor, serve, and the Lord shows me that you are just getting sharper and sharper and sharper, and and it's actually so beautiful. But the Lord also shows me like when you brush shoulders with like people who aren't that sharp, it's just like and then after a while if you keep hitting like the same spot, like after years and years and years, and even though it's not a lot of pressure, that there's still wear and tear. So I hear the Lord sh saying that that's some some closeness needs to needs to there needs to be some distance in there. Maybe there's not some advice that you should be taking from other people, but those who are who are placed in your life to who has authority in your life, honor those people. Be blessed.
Hey, hey, Lydia, uh, God bless you. Uh, family, I want to encourage you, if you would like to receive ministry, write your name in the comments. Uh, I would prefer if you don't put someone else's name on. If you are watching live, you can put your name on. Or if someone is sitting with you while you're watching live, and you can put their name on. But if it's someone else and you just put their name on, uh, please don't do that because uh, we don't actually have the permission to put their name on it. So I don't want to do that. All right, so I just ask uh, that we don't do that. All right, awesome. So the next person I want to minister to is Anna. Anna, the Lord shows me how He puts the belt of truth around your waist and also how the Lord gives you authority to walk in. And so as if you wanted to try to fight for what you feel belongs to you, but the Lord says, you don't have to fight for what you think belongs to you. You have to walk in the authority that God gives you to stand for the kingdom of God. The scripture actually says, seek first the kingdom of God. And I just felt that the Lord says, that's the place where you are protected, where you are under the covering of God, where you shine your light for the kingdom of God. And then the Lord will give you all the things that you need and you will fight on your behalf for what you need in your life. All right, but the Lord loves you very, very much. God bless you, Anna. I mean, next word is for Nyanarda. Um, I see you are like, like bathing in a mud bath and you and, and to bath in a mud bath is really good for you. It's good for your skin and everything. It looks messy. It is messy and it really looks, you know, um, to other people not, not not good, but for you it is good. So I feel that sometimes you you do things that's a little bit, you know, not ex accepted to the world. But God created you that way. God created you to do things a little bit different and it's good for you. It's it's good for God also because you bring something different into that and, and and God says you're going to minister to people also in a in a in a different way so that they can can have that advantage of the mud bath so that they can have that advantage but you are going to really um, you're going to draw people's attention with that messiness you're going to draw people's attention with that being different and it's going to be good for them be blessed amen God bless you God loves you this next word is for Reinhardt Reinhardt God loves you very much and I just see how God has clothed you in his righteousness and also the Lord says that I will give you justice I will uh, the victory is mine and I just see how you're fighting these wars and you got the sword and you're fighting but I just see how the Lord says I am your guide I want you to give these wars to me and just walk through my obedience and that's how you're going to get the victory I just see how God is is like right now taking you aside from the battlefield and he's like sitting you on a table and he's like strategizing with you this is how we're going to tackle this this is how we're going to do it you're going to come through over here and you're going to work with this person and i just see how god is really sitting you down and t talking to you of how you're going to do this and then also i really feel how god is giving you like this wisdom for solomon and you know solomon was very successful and 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 he was very prosperous and he overflowed and i just see how the lord is is giving you that wisdom and also i, I just i really want to encourage you um god loves you so much and i, I really feel that there's going to be such an amazing breakthrough um, in your life. Um, prophesy, speak life, and also just receive it. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Petronella Crane. Petronella, I saw like this strand of grass, like field grass, and I saw on top of this grass, I saw like the seed, I don't know what you call it, seed petals or seed buttons or seed something, I don't know what you call it, or just seed. So I saw like how the wind came and the wind blew the seed away. And it went to like different areas or different different places. And I just felt like oh God is saying, this is the time now to let your seed go. The seed, the the the, the seed that you used to like sow will like just seed in like a like a small area. So I feel like our God is saying, this is the time now to expand your area because I feel like our God is saying that you are the seed is ripe to go out now. So I just see like how God shows me as well how he's like um, multiplying you that you have more and more to give to other people as well. Be blessed. Thank you Petronella for being here tonight. Just remember right as I comment. We love to hear from you. The next word is for Christina. Christina, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a door that is open but it's a sliding door or a glass door and you're not sure if it's open because previously the door was closed and it, uh, sometimes you know you walk into a sliding door because you thought it is open and it wasn't open uh, but in any way the Lord says the door is open it's safe for you to go through previously it wasn't safe for you to go through that's why there was restrictions put in place but I just see how it is 
open but now you need to take the courage to say I'm going to try again I'm going to do it again I'm going to allow to trust the Lord once again in that circumstances and then I see because you walk through it suddenly your hearing opens up you you perceive things more in the spirit you are just aware of God's presence around you so it's going to be a very good spiritual door for you but the Lord encourages you to try again be blessed Amen. This next word is for Frankie. The the Lord shows me a baby that is crying and, and just the parents, just the parents holding the child and holding the baby close. Immediately the baby starts to calm down and feel safe. And I hear the Lord saying that just taking that step, even when sometimes when we feel rejected, when we feel unworthy, but but sometimes sometimes we we need to repent probably probably means we need to repent but still come to the father that he can hold you and, and regulate you and just and just have that nearness because even when when children are scared the first place they go to is is to their parents and i hear the lord saying come to me i am your father i, I am your king but i'm also your father and i want to be there for you be blessed Hey, awesome. Thank you very much, uh, Frankie. God bless you. Okay, so the next uh, word is for Jane. Uh, so Jane, uh, the Lord shows me how He gives you breakthrough and then He gives you a time of rest. And I felt even this week is a time of breakthrough for you. And I see, I don't know if you go on holiday, but I see how you take like two weeks and you just rest and then you start again with that the next thing that God has for your life and so uh, but the Lord loves you and he is the Lord of the breakthrough in your life God bless you Jane I mean it's what is for Almighty um, I feel that that um, the verse comes up that says James 1 5 it says if you lack wisdom ask God and he will give it to you and then I see God puts a, puts a bag over you and every time you ask it goes in that bag and every time you ask it goes in that bag so he's equipping you he's giving you tools he's giving you wisdom he's giving you knowledge he's giving you heavenly revelations and as it's growing and this bag is get, getting bigger 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 because he is getting you ready for the next move he's getting you ready so that you can step into what he has called you to be for the more and and then I see how 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 just um, I don't know if it's a, um, a desire for you to know more scriptures of my heart, but God says He will give that to you. You just be obedient to His word and be in His word. And, and, and I feel that God says you need to pray more in tongues and He will give that to you. Be blessed. Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Christine. Christine, God loves you so much. And I just see how you are in the presence of God and how you have this basket in front of you and how God fills this up with pearls. More pearls, more pearls, more pearls. And the Lord says that you are called to give these pearls to people. And I just see how God lays these certain people in your heart that you're going to mentor, love, bless. And I just feel the Lord just giving them wisdom knowing these are the people that I'm going to pour into. Um, so I just feel God is giving you so much love and wisdom for that and then Christine I just see how God is restoring a crown of joy in your life but also authority and fire just like in um, Acts chapter 2 when the disciples had like fire in their head I just see how God gives you a crown of joy but also that fire and the Lord says now is the time to receive a double portion but it's also like you know how Sam Samuel also anointed David um, with that poured out his oil um, that oil to make him king I just see how you pray for people other people to receive fire as well yeah Oh, God loves you so much. God bless you. Our next word is for you, Anna, for Mark. You, Anna, what I saw, I saw like how you're trying to fix stuff, but I saw like how you keep on trying to fix it like a temporary situation, like with duct tape and super glue. It's like you, you try to find stuff to fix the situation, but I feel like our God is saying this is now the end of trying to fix stuff. God is saying that He wants to equip you with new things. I just see like how God shows me how He wants you to have new things and not like you must like not focus on the old things and trying to fix the things that cannot be fixed. I just see like how God shows me this is the time of equipping you, equipping you to work with new things. And I just see like how God shows me as well, do not look back at the old things but look at the future of what I'm giving you and what I'm equipping you with. Be blessed. Thank you Anna for being here tonight. Please remember I to say comment. The next word is for Lucy. Lucy the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a fish eagle as it dives into the water and it catches the fish. Now the hard work is not to catch the fish it's actually to retrieve the fish and go back to the nest. Now when when a fish eagle catches the fish 
it's very hard work to get out of the water with wet feathers, wet everything, and that additional weight to get up and out. But I see a lot of times people think to hunt is the, the hard work, but I see in your case, the hard work has already been, been or the hunting has been done, but it's now time for the hard work to take the success home with you. And I just see how the Lord equips you and gives you guidance and He helps you tremendously in this in this time. But it, you expect it now that everything should just quiet down and be easy. But in fact, it's not going to be easier, but it's definitely going to be worth it because you're going to go home with the reward. Be blessed. Amen, Lucy. Please give us a comment text for this for Amanda. The Lord shows me this inner beauty that you have and that you are so, so, so loving and so welcoming and then you just bring that atmosphere of love. And sometimes it is hard to bring that atmosphere. And sometimes it, it, it's hard to, to say, I'm going to, I'm going to have joy right now and I'm going to help lift up the name of God even in times that are, that are really, really hard. And the Lord is saying that that is something that is going to heal you. Even in the times that it is really hard, but you still decide to lift up the name of God and that you don't go straight into, into sorrow, but you go into praise and lifting up His name. And I just see how just being in His presence and giving Him love is a sweet fragrance that brings more sweetness and joy to your own life. Be brave. Hey. Amanda, uh, God bless you. Uh, so, Jan van uh, uh, The Lord shows me healing in the fight. So, it's not healing rest. It's healing in the fight. And, and I saw like a boxing match. And between the rounds, they sit the guy down. I give him water and I kind of wipe off the blood and say, you can do it. And I just felt that the Lord is just uh, filling you up with, your, with the Holy Spirit. And He says to you, don't give up. Continue. I'm with you. And I, I remember in the Bible in, I think it's Acts chapter 4, uh, that is the, some of the disciples or apostles, they ministered and then they were thrown in jail and then they were let go and then they prayed and then the next day they went back again ministering. And I just felt that's what the Lord is doing. He's helping you, He's blessing your business, but He says to you, don't stop right now, continue, you will win. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Sidoni. Um, Psalm 28, 7 says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. The Amplified actually says, impenetrable shield. So that, that really speaks um, so much to, to, to my heart with, for you. Because nothing can penetrate through the shield of God that yeah. is in front of you. And He is your shield. He is your protection. And He is going to protect you. And I feel that there are arrows coming your way. But you need to just lift up that shield of faith. And you need to say, God is my protector and He will protect me. And then I just see those arrows are just bouncing off. Because that is the power of God. So I just want to pray over you that God will protect yes. you. And that, uh, that all His angels, great army of angels will go, will go before you. And they will go fight the battle for you you just need to stay in a place of, in a position of faith and and because knowing that God will be with you and it also says here uh, my trust will be unwavering so you will have an unwavering trust in the Lord bless you amen God bless you God loves you this next word is for Amanda Amanda God loves you very much and I just um, I feel the key is thankfulness and gratitude God is filling you up with thankfulness and gratitude as you come into his presence of worship and I just see how the Lord just shows you all the things that he's done and he fills your heart with that and I just see how when you fill up your heart with his gratitude and his love and his thankfulness all the burdens and all the worries just lift up it's like all those that darkness just lifts up and you just receive the light of God God has called you and your family and your ministry to be like a lighthouse I just feel the Lord says it's a lighthouse you are called to be the light of the world and I just feel the Lord is really um, right now how you give your gifts to God and how the Lord gives you new gifts and how you grow it and and you stretch and you and you and you keep on going um, don't stop yourself no matter how small little is no matter how good you are keep on going because by the time obviously you'll you'll get better but I just feel the Lord says I'm not looking at that I'm looking at the heart but right now I really feel how God is really growing you so that your light can shine even more with your gifts and talents God loves you so much Amanda God's so proud of you I just pray the Lord that you will just fill up her hearts with your joy God bless you our next word is for Ruth H 
a roof I just heard how the father says that he makes you he's making you clean I see how mm -hmm. you go to the father um, at the river of the father and I see how he's baptizing you and when he's finished baptizing you I just heard he's saying that he's giving you your purity back he's giving you a new beginning a new life I just see like how father says that he he wants you to know how precious you are how important you are I just see like how God says that he gives you like a new identity and this identity is where you can see how valuable you are because I see how God shows me that he made you precious he made you valuable but you don't see your worth so I just feel like our Father says that He's blowing His breath inside of you because you can feel the pre His presence and that you can feel your worth and know your worth that God made you a queen. He made you His daughter and He made you righteous. He made you like a, a, a He gave you a kingdom and He made you royalty. Be blessed. Thank you, Ruth, for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Kushi. Kushi, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you trying to start your car, but the starter is, uh, it is as if it's, it just doesn't want to start. You're trying, it's not the battery, everything is fine, it's the starter itself. And then I see how the Lord's actually sending a lightning bolt to jump start, to just increase and loosen the starter, so the starter actually works fine now. And I just see this process of where the Lord is going to send a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of influence into your life. And that's just going to get you motivated to start once again. A lot of times we have to start over and over and over again. It is not a problem to start over. I know it's not always nice to start over, but there's a lot of wisdom that we can get from that. So starting over is a good thing, especially if it's needed. And I just see in your life, it doesn't matter... What, what the reasons were for where you are now. It is how you're going to go ahead into the future. Be blessed. Amen. This next bit is for Bernice. The Lord says that you need to build, you need to make a song. Start singing your song and the walls will fall down. When you just start to, to worship the Father and start interceding and praying. And, and I see the more you do it, the more you learn how to pray. How the Lord is just going to teach you like how to, to really pray, how to release His presence when you, when you declare something, that you don't use your own strength, that you make sure that you connect to the Lord, that, that there's, like the Lord shows me all of these, like the, these plugs that you are plugged into, and how you disconnect from that, those plugs, because you only need one plug, and then you see all of these things are, are settled. Your, your finances are settled. Um, your, your relationships are settled because you are connected. He is first in your life. There is no other, no other input directly to your heart, directly to your spirit. It's just Jesus. And I just hear, open your mouth and start to sing that song. Be blessed. Uh, Bernice, uh, God bless you. Uh, so family, uh, if you would like to receive a word, please write it in the comments. Uh, there is a person in the comments with the, the hashtag Ellie uh, that write quite a few people's names down. So the last few, I didn't write them in the, on the list because you need to tell me are those people live with you and that they ask for a word. I don't want us to minister to people if they didn't actually say I'm watching live and I would like to receive a word. So if one of, the peop that one of those people want to have a word but they can't come to the live, you can just go onto Unity with Heaven. You'll see I minister every single day uh, to 10 people. Usually I get Ian or Amy or Kimi to minister with me. Uh, and then you can just write your name there in the comments. And then we will schedule you and minister to you. So that's it's just important for me. So that's why, unless you write me a very nice message, I'm not going to schedule him. But for everybody else, if you are alive, watching, <laughs> alive and live, you're welcome to write your name and I'll minister or we'll, uh, we'll minister to you. Okay, so Gloria, the Lord shows me how He puts uh, the spirit of might upon your life and how you have joy and strength uh, to stand with God. All right? And I actually feel that's a corporate word that the Lord is giving to all of us that are here and that are online. The Lord says, I'm giving you a crown of joy tonight if you're willing to tap into it. And that's going to bring protection in your life. And it's also going to help you to shine your life in the fruit of the Holy Spirit when you deal with others. And so I just felt that uh, a lot of people are letting go of joy because they're so 
busy. And I Lord, the Lord just says, take back that joy and receive it as part of your inheritance that I have for you. God bless you, Gloria. I mean, next word is for Renal. Renal, I feel that God is going to give you a, like a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit where He's going to make your senses um, more sensitive to hear His voice. Uh, your spiritual eyes are going to be more awake. Your, your spiritual ears are going to hear more the voice of the Lord. And through this, you are going to see visions and dreams. God is going to speak to you through visions and dreams. And He wants you to write everything down so that you do not forget it. Actually, have a pen and paper next to your bed. If you wake up, write down because um, unfortunately, the enemy comes and He just wants to distract us so that we forget the visions and the dreams that God gives us through the night. So write it down and speak it over your life because God is really going to speak to you and through this there's going to be happen miracles and then I really feel this you're going in a time of, of spiritual warfare and, and you're going to need these these tools and these things that God is going to speak to you and be blessed. Amen. God bless you, Renal. God loves you. This next word is for Danica. Danica, God loves you so much. And there's just an anointing of worship upon your life. I just see how you are before God and you're worshiping Him. You're dancing before Him. And God is just igniting freedom in your heart, in your life, in your mind. Uh, um, a lot of, And God is giving breakthrough for relationships and friendships. I just see how God is really blessing your relationships and friendships. And God is, says, I'm going to surround you with beautiful people. Uh, um, and I just feel how God also says that He is giving you courage in this time. Um, the Lord says, do not, um, do not slouch, do not look at the floor. God is calling you to lift up your head and lift up your shoulders and to walk in His authority because you know who you are. You are a daughter of God and you are loved and God is going to heal you. God is going to heal these areas and these, and these things that you are asking God why and, and how. I feel the Lord says, I have... I've all, I'm so intentional with your steps and the Lord says, daughter, I'm holding your hand and I'm with you. God loves you so much. I really just want to encourage you, keep on worshipping. There is really going to be so much breakthrough in this time of freedom. Have faith and know God has a plan. God bless you. Our next word is for now. Now, when I prayed for you, I just heard of God is saying procrastination. Pray against procrastination. I feel how God shows me how you've got such a great destiny such a great anointing how, how God shows me that when you open your mouth how like the power of God starts to pour out and I just see like how God shows me that he wants to come and restore order he wants to come and like I don't know how do, he wants to come come and put a haste inside of you so that you can see the urgency that God has got for you so that you can start an, uh, using the anointing that's God got, uh, got in store for you. I just see like how God shows me like how this path that he's got you on, how this path is like a wonderful path. It's like already like paved for you. You've got angels going ahead for you. So I just see like how God shows me that he just wants you to start taking the first step of this journey that is God planned for you because I feel like how such wonderful things are coming your way. Be blessed. Thank you now for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next word is for Edgar. Edgar, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just feel a strong sense of compassion from uh, for what the Lord has for you. It seems like you went through very difficult times and I just see how the Lord comes and he, he actually just overshadows you and he's just he loves you and he cares a lot about you and then I just see a picture of a rocket ship that starts to start up and it's all of that thrust that starts to generate even though the the rocket takes slow to start up and to move up eventually it goes very very fast and I just see you're in that process of where you're starting up it's taking a lot of effort um, it, it feels so so heavy on you uh, but just bear with it, you will see, you'll be like a rocket where everything will be, be easier and faster. Be blessed. Amen, Edgar, please leave us a comment. This next word is from Martin. The Lord shows me how He's going to give you a list of people's names and how the Lord just wants you to speak a blessing over these people and just start to pray a new covering over them and even a covering with the blood. And the Lord shows me how you go and you meet with these people. Maybe you have coffee and you just pray with them that, that anything that they feel that is heavy on their hearts, that you just come into agreement that there will be breakthrough there. Because the Lord has really given you a heart of, of compassion for the lost and the Lord wants you to start evangelizing and just go and start speaking to others about the words. And the Lord says, do not fear because one, you're probably not going to see these people again. And, and two, the Lord is saying that, that this, is, this is a new step that I'm taking you. This is a bit 
into the out is out of your comfort zone and the Lord showed me there's so much room for growth when we are outside of our comfort zone but there's so much grace and safety when we are in the Lord be blessed yeah Martin uh, the Lord is really equipping you um, God bless you all right so the next word is for ye wa all right so ye uh, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is how he puts a very strong anointing of faith and of evangelism upon your life. Yes. And I see how you bring people into the kingdom of God, how you <laughs> preach the word of God, how you walk in faith. You trust God for your provision and how the Lord supernaturally provide financially, even uh, appointments, even meeting someone. The Lord even give you prophetic words about what's going to happen the next day in you go in faith and then it happens like that and I just see how you learn how to walk in the spirit but in that process you bring many people into the kingdom of God God bless you I mean here well, I was actually also preparing words for you I got the names wrong and I also saw that um, you know like the like um, when I the fishermen had to put everything down and they had to follow Jesus I saw exactly that that God says you need to put everything down all the structure everything and you need to, just to follow him because he's got so much for, prepared for you in his kingdom um, next word is for Alex. Alex, um, I feel that um, you are in this this ball, and it's almost like I, 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 um, there's these balls you can buy for hamsters, where they are just in these balls, and they actually go nowhere, but they are just going, 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 going. And and I feel that's where you are at the moment. You're feeling like you're going nowhere, and you are exhausted, mm -hmm. and everything is just coming in, and it feels like you are cramped up, and and the whole world is against you. And God says no. You need to just use your strength, like um, Solomon. Solomon, ne? Strong guy, Solomon? Samson. Sam no, Samson. 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 Like Samson, that last bit when he, you know that last bit when he just did this and the, the whole building fell apart. And, and and that's what God wants you to do. He says you must not out of your own strength, but out of his strength working through you, you need to do this so that, that ball can break, so that you can be be so that your vision can be widened and so that you can see again because your vision is, is blurred blurred by the enemy. God wants you to move further and I see really a, a blessing upon your life when you do this let the weak say I am strong bless yeah. you amen Yo, that was amazing um, and I'm, I'm also sure that um, Samson and Samuel and um, Solomon are also very very strong yes. All right, so this, <laughs> <laughs> this next word is for Renza Renza God loves you very much and I I just saw how um, it was like the wind blew and then this tree branch fell off and you're like Lord what now and i just see how god is growing this new tree branch in your life it is stronger it is more stable it is it is beautiful and i just feel the lord says it's okay let it go there's a new branch that is growing in your life and it is going to be a big blessing for you um and then i just feel the lord has called you to be a giver and there's a lot of things um even like social media that says you got to keep it all and, and and all of that but i just feel the lord says um keep on giving but he's also giving you the wisdom of where to pour out his love because sometimes we do serve but then it's it's for people and it's or even for us but it's not for God and I just feel the Lord says I'm going to show you where I want you to give and serve and there's a lot of freedom God is bringing to you because God has called you to give be a giver so don't give up and say no I'm done the Lord says you are called to be a giver but I'm giving you the wisdom and knowledge to know where to give and if it's from me God loves you so much and I, I really I really believe that God is clothing you in his peace in his love and he's just saying to you I'm gonna take care of you God loves you God bless you our next word is for Renata Renata I just saw like how you're standing in God's presence in the front room and how God gives you a scroll but this scroll comes with instructions I see like how God says that when you open the scroll and you start to read from the scroll God wants you to read like not not just the whole scroll all at once. He wants you to take verse by verse. And when you to when you read a verse, he wants you to soak it in. He wants you to meditate on that verse. Because I feel like how doing that, it's like it's gonna marinate inside of you. The 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 anointing is gonna start to drop inside of you from each and every piece of that scroll that God is that verse that God is giving you and I just see like how God shows me that that scroll that he's giving you it's dripping of fat it's dripping of oil so I just feel the anointing that God is giving you be blessed 
thank you, Renati, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Louise. Louise, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you holding an umbrella in the rain and you're well protected from the rain. Now somebody comes and stands with you and the umbrella is a bit small for both of you. And I see how you extend the umbrella to your friend. And suddenly what the Lord has done is he extended the shape of the umbrella. Even though the umbrella was still small, the rain didn't touch you, it flowed over you. And I see because of act of kindness, because you are sacrificing how the Lord is covering you. So it may feel like you are exposed and vulnerable, but just know that the Lord is fighting for you because you are obedient. I see it's an act of obedience that you have done and the Lord just want, to, want you to take note that He is taking note. Be blessed. Amen, Louise. Please give us a comment. This next word is for Joel. Joel, the Lord shows me that you are called to be a farmer. You are called to plant the seed and care for the seed. The Lord shows me this overwhelming love that he has for you because he has been waiting for someone to come and step in into that area and just start to just start to change things, release that, that the presence of the Lord. And the Lord is so happy that that you have said yes. Yes, Lord, I'm going to stand. I'm going to I'm going to do your work. I'm going to partner with you and I'm going to plant the seed. And I just see how these tears are like dripping out of uh, out of falling out of your eyes and how you just have so much love for the Lord and so much and you are so humble before the Lord. And the Lord shows me that do not lose that, do not lose that, that humbleness, that being able to completely let go in my presence no matter who is around. Just like David, when they brought the ark, he, he is the king, but he is still, he got lost in the presence of the Lord. And I hear that's what God is saying. No matter where your position is, you are still able to worship him fully in spirit and in truth. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Joel, uh, you are very zealous for God. And I felt that the Lord says, it's not only ministry, it's also equipping. And so I felt that the Lord is having both of those two things uh, in your life. Uh, you also have a pastoral anointing. I know on your tag it says Prophet Joel Ministries, but I, I felt you have also a pastoral anointing on your life. All right, so you let, zealous for God, the Lord is going to help you. Just go with Him. All right, God bless you, Joel. All right, so um, Riata Kutsia. So the Lord shows me an uh, ice bath. And I felt that all of your muscles were very, very tight and the Lord is putting you in this ice bath and it just cools you down and it cools your situation in your life down and your emotions down, everything is just kind of slowing you down a little bit. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says that He's going to heal you, He's going to put you in the baptism of the Father, in the river of the Father and you're going to receive that affirmation from God that you 100% are convinced that God is affirming you as his daughter. And um, I, I see lots of times that has held you back because it's as if you, you don't feel affirmed. And the Lord is affirming you, has affirmed you, but he's putting you in his river and he's affirming you today. Uh, and then I, I see then the, 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 the call and the ministry of God flows out of you because you are secure. God bless you, Rieta. I mean, next word is for John. John, I feel um, that while you and your family is standing, um, you're standing at the sea, and it's, it's, it's the same scene as in the Bible where the parting of the sea happens, and I see how God just stretches his hand over all of you, and then that sea just splits open, and God says he go, He's going to give you and your family a breakthrough. There, he's, he will make a way for you. Um, like in, in Psalm 136, verse 12, it says, With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, His loving kindness endures forever. I really feel that God's hand is over you and your family, and His comfort and His loving kindness is over you and your family through this process of waiting for that seed to part through this process of waiting to see the breakthrough happening so just hold on to god trust in him fully and just surrender totally to him because he knows what he's doing be blessed amen this next word is for heidi heidi god loves you so much and i just feel the lord says i'm going you're going to have encounters and moments with me 
moments that you are going that are going to be so amazing that you're going to testify to people and say look at what the Lord has done this is what I experienced when I spent time in his presence and this is how he healed me this is what he did but there are also going to be moments that are so precious between you and God that the Lord says don't share this with everybody this is me and you and I love you and I just I just feel how Heidi God is really going to bless you with his, his presence and how you're going to see the face of God and then Heidi I don't know if you write songs or if you if you um, love music or you're very poetic poetic or you're just very creative but I just see how you are um, spending time with God and then you start um, singing these songs that he sings over you and how you like a mother like you know how a mom um, sings songs over um, her kids I just see how you sing songs over people and people get healed um, it, it really it, in the end of the day uh, you can get the most professional singers in the world, but if they don't have anointing, and then it just it just falls. But when a person has the anointing and sings the song of God, it really it really touches people's hearts. And I just I just feel the Lord says, "Flow in my anointing." God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Jock van Heerden. Jock, what I heard for you, I heard how God is saying that you need to incline your ear to his voice because I feel like how God shows me how he wants you to be obedient to his instructions. I see with, with the instructions it's like uh, there's like uh, instruction and when you do what God tells you to do it's like God shows me that how you get how you receive what he's got in store for you. Um, I see like how God shows me how he wants to upgrade you and he wants to make you more effective. What I saw like how God showed me how you're like standing in front of this farm gate and this farm gate is still one of the old ones that you have to go you have to take um, get out of the vehicle open it go through get out again and close it but God shows me how he's like putting a gate motor on this gate where you can just put to push the button so I just see like how God shows me that he wants to make you more effective and he wants to upgrade you be blessed thank you Jock for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you the next word is for Anthony Anthony the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw a man of great kindness and I see People think kindness is a weakness, but it is not. It is tremendously powerful in the spiritual realm. The Lord just showed to me that the kindness that you have is not a kindness that you show so that other people see you. It is because that's your heart. And because it's your heart, I just see how you bring a life and you bring the kingdom of heaven to people's lives. And that is, it's tremendously powerful. So don't ever think of quitting, giving up, um, even though people may tell you that's a sign of weakness. That is definitely a lie, misguided. You are not weak. You're very, very strong. The more you show kindness, the more you show your strength, especially you, because you don't do it for other people to see. You do it because you love them. Be blessed. Emma Anthony, please give us a comment on the same for Therese. The Lord shows me how you must wait for his stamp of approval. The Lord shows me how how he is going he is going to send you out. How he is going to 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 make the first move to to give the final word. Because I see how you're you're somebody who likes who really wants to to get something going and get something built and and really do something amazing and the Lord loves that but I hear the Lord saying wait for his yes wait for his command wait on his word and, and the Lord shows me how he will reveal himself in 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 like in the in the most amazing way possible but also in a way that you will completely understand how how it won't be too much of a mystery but you will see it and you will see the vision that the Lord is giving to you and how you how you um, release that vision you you help to build that vision but you wait on his word be blessed hey awesome uh, Tris uh, God bless you okay so Chukwani uh, the Lord is showing to me how he's made you to be a fighter and how you prepare a foundation for the next generation and you give to them uh, freedom, uh, territory and resources. Uh, and then the Lord showed me King David, how he prepared and he laid a foundation for his son Solomon to come in and how they could establish the, the temple of God. And I felt that the Lord says, uh, in your life, you're going to take territory and you're going to fight for the kingdom of God and you're going to prepare an environment of peace for the next generation. God bless you, Chukwani. 
amen next word is for te bogo um i feel that um you're standing and and you're getting books study books um i don't think i don't know if it's a desire for you to study further or to um i don't know if it's for business or for ministry but god says either way he's going to use you in that place when you have studied he's going to place you at, at, at certain places and we and that's where you will be needed because we can minister in the business world also we do not have to all be pastors to minister to people you can minister at your workplace also so god is going to give you this so that you can go to a place further so that he can use you in that area where he wants to use you so just hold on to god and hold on to faith because he is going to give you that equipping of studies be blessed amen god bless you god loves you please leave a comment down below we'd love to connect with you to Bojo. this next word is for um Tomalenko, Tomalenko, God loves you so much. Um, thank you, Jesus. So Tomalenko, while praying for you, I just feel how God has given you tools and how the Lord has given you vision. I just see like a like a pile of wood and how some people will just see a pile of wood, but other people can also see like, oh, I can make a table out of this. I can make a chair. God has called you to be a creator. And I just feel the Lord is giving you the gift to think outside the box and to do what not the other people are doing and to go the extra mile. And I just feel how the Lord's hand is upon you for that and how he's going to help you. And then I see, uh, I feel like you're, you're fluent or great with language but specifically I see how you are praying in tongues and how just like Acts chapter 2 when the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit I just I don't know if you're filled in tongues or not I really want to encourage you ask someone to pray for you to receive the gift of tongues to receive the Holy Spirit because that has changed my life but I just see how you are praying before God and how God sets you on fire and how um, how just breakthrough comes god loves you so much i really want to encourage you step into the presence of god um god is so proud of you and i really feel that god is going to use your tools and communication for something wonderful god bless you our next word is for ingrid niman ingrid god loves you so much i just saw like our god shows me that you're trying to give from an empty river bed from an empty river You've got so many people around you that want to receive from you, but you are empty. You're giving, you're trying to give from empty as well. I see like how God shows me that sometimes there's people that's tapping into your river and it's like giving you a little bit of water, giving you a little bit of flow. But I feel like our God is saying that He wants you to receive your own flow. Your own flow. I see like our God shows me how you go down on your knees and you fervently start to pray, pray in tongues and you like... Just go into His presence and when you do that, how, how your, your sluice gates are activated. And when they, they are activated, I saw like a, how a flow starts to happen. And when that flow is activated, your sluice gates are open. You'll be able to give from a river that is like flowing very strongly. So do not try to give when you don't have a strong flow as well. Be blessed. Thank you, Ingrid, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Vicky. Vicky, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw an interesting picture of you rolling out a carpet, but the carpet is a picture of the ocean. And you actually climb into the ocean and you are wet and you enjoy the ocean. And when you're done, you just roll it up. And the Lord says you've got access. Wherever you are, you've got access. I want you to take that picture and frame it in your mind that every time when you go to church when you're on your work area wherever you need the access of God to be there you just roll out your carpet and you climb in and you partake of it and I just see how you can pray and you can pull down power uh, from heaven and where you're going to influence the area around you but it starts with you believing and being obedient be blessed Please give us a comment saying, what is for Renata? The Lord shows me how you rip off these bandages and how you rip off these, these lies from the enemy saying, this is what you have. And the Lord shows me how, how, you, don't, how you don't accept that. You don't, you don't take that. You don't, you don't continue to speak it. Maybe there's been somebody saying, oh, you, you have the flu, but you don't speak it over yourself and you don't speak it over others. The Lord is really teaching you the power of your word and and, and uh, of, of your words. And I hear the Lord saying that even when you say things like behind people's back, oh, this person is a little uh, funny sometimes, or this person is amazing, those words still have full effect. 
and they, and they take effect when you speak well. And I hear the Lord saying that there's that you have a, that you have a beautiful mouth, you have a beautiful tongue when when you speak. And the Lord wants to 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 keep it to keep it pure, keep your words pure and and loving, and speak that life over every over others. Be blessed. Hazel. Ne- Amy, next word is for Hazel. Hazel, um, I feel that uh, sometimes you feel that you are alone and that um, you know you are alone in this battle. You're alone in your in your walk with God, and God says um, that you do not have to feel alone because um, it, it's in these moments that you grow spiritually. It's in these moments that you grow with you know with intimacy with Him, and and where you will just you know expand, and where the light inside of you that He has placed inside of you will will shine even brighter to other people, and this will will attract other people so just keep on doing what you're doing and keep spending time with the Lord and I see how there's a, a cloud above you and and wherever you go this cloud moves but this is the presence of God where he says my presence will go before you and, and and that God will never leave you he is with you so just hold on to God and hold on to because he is he is with you always you do not have to feel alone you do not have to feel that you know you're going through these things alone so just go into those moments and just experience his love and his comfort and his strength through everything you're going with because it's just in due time you'll see that people get attracted to whatever you are carrying and then your your circle of friends and your circle of of community your community will expand to be blessed oh, hey hazel um the lord shows me how he baptized you with the holy spirit and how uh, he activate the gifts of the holy spirit in you like the gift of prophecy and praying in tongues and even healings so the Lord's going to use you in a mighty way okay God bless you Hazel okay family it was such a pleasure for us to minister to you tonight I know there's a few more names that's on the list uh, if you would like to receive ministry and you didn't receive ministry tonight you can just go on any one of my uh, videos that I we post a video every day of 10 people that we minister just go in the comments just write your name in the comments and I will schedule you and we will make sure that you receive ministry so god loves you very very much thank you for joining us tonight and uh, have a good rest and we're gonna have a good rest some of you guys on the other side of the world are gonna still work a little bit but uh, uh, have a good rest in when we do it a little bit later we love all of you have a good evening god bless thank you for joining unity with heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.